Well, I've got six ladies, and I've got a bunch of questions about men and their bodies. Oh. Let's play a round of Do These Women Really Know Men's Bodies? Yeah! I do. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. No! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. So ready. Yes. Yeah, so so fun. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is the butthole. Okay. <laughs> Question one. We're starting off big here, ladies. Big. Mm -hmm. Robert Wadlow is on record as the tallest verified human in recorded history. He was a big, big boy. How tall was this massive man? Closest answer gets the point. You know what's oh, crazy? This is I live right next to Ripley's. And oh. I see him all the time no next way. to the like, measure, <laughs> so I should know. So I'm 6'7", Julie's like 6'2". Okay. So this guy has wow. to be. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate that one. Is he like a Great Dane where he didn't live that long? Or like, what was it? <laughs> Hi. All right, what'd you put? We're so 8'2". 8'2". And 7'2". 7 foot 11. 8 foot 2. I'm 5'2". I like a good climb, you know? <laughs> okay, well, let's see how far you think this climb would be, Dude. Ashley. Seven four, Jamie. Seven three, very close. You both are considerably off. Eight eleven. <laughs> oh my God. Robert Wilde was eight feet eleven and point one inches. That's scary. What's up, man? Dab me up. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Jump on the <laughs> Their heads are at his. His what? At perfectly at. <laughs> <laughs> One point to Martin! Nice job. Boop, 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 boop. I love how he didn't round. You know, he was humble king. He was like, <laughs> 8 11. Point one. Point one. <laughs> big boy. Big boy. If they're a big dude, do they have like a big. big really big heart. Okay. And large feet. <laughs> okay. Let's Either. keep chugging down the line on this okay. big boy choo choo train. We're going to take a trip around the world. According to a bunch of studies and statistics, which one of these countries or territories boasts the tallest men oh. at an average height of six feet tall? Not here? Definitely not the United States. <laughs> Where do they get the best fresh air? Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah. saying anything. <laughs> the average height is for men in Switzerland is like six three. Why do you know this? <laughs> I love my tall cakes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On average. I know Izzy's tall, so Brazil might be in there. Mm. I okay, swear if it's the US. Locked in? You How locked confident in. are we? Not. Not at all. <laughs> all right, what did you put? D. D. Bermuda. Netherlands. <laughs> Netherlands. <laughs> D and D, you are both incredibly correct. Correct! <laughs> Girl. You're knowing these men's bodies, girl. Oh. You're getting it. Cool. We know our men. Yes, we know our men. Let's go. Why? Wait, the average is six? The average is Guess six Guess where feet I'm tall. moving, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Two points, Martin. Nice job. But shout out to the short kings. Yeah, for sure. An inch is a big difference. Either way. Oh. Oh. You said it. <laughs> From big boys to big baby boys, according to the World Health Organization, the average size of a baby boy birthed at full term is about seven pounds, six ounces. <laughs> but there's a record for the biggest baby boy ever birthed. How much did he weigh? Try to say that five times fast. Biggest baby boy ever birthed, biggest baby boy ever birthed, baby baby blah, 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 blah. No, oh. nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. I'm gonna go with 17. <laughs> <laughs> is that too much? <laughs> She's like, 50 yeah. pounds! Are you scared at the weight that you have presented? I'm yeah, a little. A little terrified? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I you're really lot. just adding to the reasons for me to not want a kid. Seven pounds to... Mm -hmm. All right, what'd you put? 17. 17 pounds. I just like doubled it. All right, all right, what do you got? 15 pounds. 15 pounds and 14 pounds, oh, five oh. ounces. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is like the price is right. Wow. What'd you put? 13 pounds, okay, about 13 LB, as... baby. 14.8. 14 point, you just got, you kind of went double. You were like, this is the average, we're gonna double it up. Okay, yeah. I like that, I like that. Mm -hmm. One in doubt, double down. You, exactly. Um, you're a little off. Is it over 20? Oh no. <gasps> 22 pounds, eight ounces. <laughs> okay, see, I had no idea it would be over 20. Like... <laughs> 22 pounds, eight ounces. Mate, did she die? Did she die? That literally would be like pushing a watermelon through your nostril. For sure. <laughs> it's like that big, bro. That's a literal <laughs> child. It's a kindergartner. He's yeah. going in first grade. He was the son of Anna Bates, one of the tallest women ever. She was uh, seven foot 11 inches herself. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Legends say she lost six gallons when her water broke. Holy <laughs> Wow. She's like, everybody in the room is just like washed to the back of the room. <laughs> Boom. Question four. Mm. Men and women have some very apparent physical differences on the outside of their fleshy bodies, but are fairly similar on the inside. Mm. Except for, you know, all those na-na's and woo-woo's. Right. So tell me, what is the organ that males got that females do not that is also considered the hot G-spot? Dun, 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 dun. Ball? <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say testicles. Can you write it down? I feel like I have a good guess. I think you got it right. Oh. I'm pretty sure. This gonna... is our drawing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the butt. ball. It's, it's in, in the, the ball. Butt. It's the butt. The butt. <laughs> the butt. <laughs> I actually don't know what it's called. I just know the area region. Okay. Jamie, what'd you put? <laughs> the pee. The pee spot. G <laughs> spot butthole thingy. Area. Okay. That. <laughs> The booty balls. The booty balls. Booty balls. <laughs> prostate. Okay. Prostate. You're both correct. Yes. Right. Prostate. prostate. I don't, wait, so when you guys, hold on, wait. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> stupid. The prostate <laughs> makes it. <laughs> the primary function is to produce seminal fluid, which helps transport sperm to Boom Boom Town. All right. And the boom boom there are 500 million sperm in a splooge. Yes. Yeah, you in remember. A uh, no points. Uh, Look at those exams. Prostate exams are important. We learn a lot here. Yeah. We do. <laughs> All right, next one. Question five. Since Whoop. we're here, let's keep it focused on genitalville for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Male bodies can experience a very unique, painful experience dubbed testicular torsion. Oh, God! What oh. is that? Is it A, a tear in the scrotum leaving the testicles exposed to outside elements? A scrot broke. Is it a twisting of the testicle creating a coiled spermatic cord that cuts off blood flow to the testicle? Twist and shout. <laughs> C, a testicle rupture due to trauma or overstimulation, cut nut. Or D, a massive swelling up to five times the size of the testes due to a torrent of unregulated blood flow. Hefty testy. Hefty testy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make up these? I, I'm not saying nothing. What'd you put? <laughs> I put C. C. You both put cut nut? Cut yeah. Nut. I thought. Hefty testing. <laughs> did you wink at the camera? I sure did. Don't do that. <laughs> B. Yeah. Twist and shout. I've literally been with people who like have told me about this. B. Twist and shout. Correct. It is oh. B. Twist and shout. She knew exactly you, what we were talking I feel about. Like depending on if it's hot or cold, mm -hmm. like it just. Yeah, you know, I, you know if, if there's up a, and if, down like a curtain. A <gasps> twisted testicle. <gasps> Next question. What do Harry Styles, Zac Efron, Mark Wahlberg, and Chandler Bing from Friends have in common when it comes to the body? A big personality. Oh, okay. yeah, this I don't know. Oh my god. I think I know it. Don't show her your board. Okay. Oh, what's my the gosh. Thing? What was the thing right here? Aaron, what did you put? They all have a peen. <laughs> Martin? Nubbins, <laughs> which is? A third nipple. Third nipple and hairy birthmark. <laughs> Somewhere. An extra nip. An extra nip? Doesn't that what hairy is right here? A third nipple? Yeah. Well, guys, yeah, yeah. here's the correct answer. Extra yeah. nipples! Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> <job>. <laughs> yeah. What? 100% legit. This I did not Nip. know. See, I even put a third nip. Supernumerary nipples are common, uh, and yes, our friend Harry Styles has a couple of them. Harry Styles can be milked. And extra nipples is more common in men than in women. Wow. But you weren't expecting that. There, consider yourself learned. <laughs> <laughs> From that man fact to the next man facts, let's play man facts. Which yes. one of these man facts is not a man fact? A, men can produce milk from their nipples. B, men can also get genital-based yeast infections. Yes. C, mm. men can totes rock three testicles. Or D, men have a small penis bone called a baculum. Scott baculum. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys can get three for sure. And you know, know for sure? How do you know for sure? No, 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 no. <laughs> wow, okay. Never mind. All right. No. This is actually a tough one. Yeah, not quite certain, are you? No. How well do you know men's bodies? All right, what do we put? D. D, baculum. And? A. A Probably can produce a. milk from their nipples. D, the baculum, the, the Scott baculum. Aaron? Also D, D well. Scott baculum. Yeah. You guys the are jumping. The bone in the peener. 
You know, like I can't. Oh, you both don't think that they can produce milk. Well, right. you both are incredibly. Correct. Incorrect. What? <laughs> You are no, correct. I was gonna say. D, oh. men have a small penis bone called a baculum. That is false. I've been around a penis before, and there's just no bone in there. <laughs> I've never seen one before. I could open a penis before, and I checked. If you guys can produce milk, y'all need to start pulling your weight. <laughs> <laughs> the baculum is a thing, and it's in most mammals. We are just one of the rare ones that don't have it. Here are yeah. some examples. Uh, oh. 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 The raccoon and the otter, the badger, the coyote, the red fox, the mink, the beaver, and the short-tailed weasel. The weasel, it's so dumb. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the raccoon is really packing. That's crazy. In 1972, a study was done by Professor Dr. Herbert Mescon of the Department of Dermatology at Boston University School of Medicine, and he concluded that if done regularly, the average male will spend 3,350 hours of his life doing what? What do activity? you think? It's a lot of me time. <laughs> Which is about 140 days doing what oh, activity? Oh, hell yeah. No, of I course. I feel like it would be more than that. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> this oh, is like to else? men, so like... But women... I know, yeah. women also do that. Two. No, I know. But like... <laughs> Three, five hundred, okay, divided by 24. Please turn around the thing and show us that you just drew a penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, going with it. This is my first, it was my first guess, this is my brain. Masturbate. Okay, pervert, and? Pass and guess. <laughs> Are you guys locked in with your masturbation answers? <laughs> Yes, sir, but I had to put nutting or splooge in. Nutting? <laughs> I love that splooge. Jerk off. Okay. <laughs> That's all blurred out. I, I like that answer. <laughs> what she put? Crying. I love that. Yeah, I like that one too. I still uh, think it'd be more. The correct answer is shaving his dang face. <laughs> That's enough for me for this video. I shouldn't do this anymore. Now, I dated Filipino men, and they don't grow facial hair. Average. Oh, okay. <laughs> Love that Shaving. trick question. Shaving is scrubbed. No shame. There was absolutely no trick in that question. Because, oh, because sure. he spends 20,000 hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was right. We, we aimed too low. <laughs> I wonder how long it takes women to shave the everything we body. do. Right, if we did that much, how, yeah, how much do you guys put into it? You spent 140 days mm -hmm. shaving just, just your getting face. getting rid of this, yeah. How much time we waste? Bum, 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 bum. From beard care, whoop, 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 to weird hair. Mm. Not saying this is weird, some might say tragic, but by age 50, one in two men will experience androgenic alopecia, which is male pattern baldness. Oh, right. yeah. However, one man did not suffer this fate to an extreme level. He holds the world record for the longest male hair ever. How many feet long was this man's hair? How long is your hair? Where Maybe is he that... from? India? He is from India. I knew it. See, I keep going way under the amount. So like, I'm thinking like, okay, 12 feet, but then I'm like, rookie numbers. <laughs> I'm just going with the number that popped into my brain. Sometimes that's the best thing you can do. Sometimes that's all you can do. But if you were bald and then grew it out, I've never lived that hot girl era where I was bald. I wanted to, but I don't have a, I have an ugly head shape. How do you know if you've never been bald? I've touched my head. <laughs> How long do you think it was? 12 feet long. <laughs> 20 feet long. Wow. Wow. I just added a zero. Of course. <laughs> wow. 43 feet, 200 feet. Come on, Swami! <laughs> All right, Swami. Swami, my Swami. boy! 28. Ooh, 28 feet and 32. 32 feet. Both very, very long guesses. The correct answer, my friends, is 26 feet! I had 25 feet. I'm <laughs> so close. Oh, you still got it, 28. That's not far off. Good job. Wow. Look at that hair. That's really healthy hair. Wow. That's 26 feet right there, Aaron. Now picture 120. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Why did I reach for the stars? <laughs> 200 feet, feet is bonkers. It is. <laughs> he was real life Rapunzel, okay? <laughs> Sorry I had high expectations. Is it Rapunzel's like 200? Put your headphones on, I'm gonna show you a video. 
Next question. Ha <laughs> ha! Light work. Uh, what is that? 450? Oh. Lift! Oh no! What's gonna happen? Those are inflatables. <laughs> it's not real. He did it though. Uh, uh, and he's done. <laughs> you guys just watched the world record. 450. For the biggest bench press ever, Jimmy Cole. Wait, can we go back? I just need you to pause frame on oh, him no. starting to bench. Oh, you want to count? No, we're not gonna do that. Ah. <laughs> Have you guys ever bench pressed before? Uh, yeah, what 500 pounds. But I remember, like, the bar. Heavy, right? <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think that man just lifted off of his chest? Look at these guns. You do have guns. Look at the guns. Look at that. Every single day, man. Yeah. What'd you put? I'm not gonna change my answer. That seems way more realistic. No, no, no. no. you said you weren't gonna change your answer. What are your answers? 425. 425 pounds? 340. 340 pounds? He might be 560. Put 4,500 pounds. <laughs> wow. Why is that funny? Wow. Why is that funny? Uh, is that a lot? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Holy. <laughs> 1,245 pounds, 600 pounds. pounds. One of you is very close. And the answer is 1,401 pounds. He lifted that just now? He just did. I think you were closer. Oh, yeah, yeah you know, Martin's way closer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Izzy gets the point. I math correctly. <laughs> I lie on my resume. You know how in part-time jobs it says you have to lift at least 40 pounds? I'm like, yeah, I can totally do 40 pounds. What are you talking about? 1,000 uh, pounds. Which so is lower. about the, depending on the size of it, is about the same size as a cow or a horse. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang. Actually, I think he would just die if it fell Oof. on his chest. Ooh, good segue. Speaking of dying. <laughs> uh, yay. Next question. The life expectancy for an American male is about 73 years, which is actually far below a lot of other countries. Yes. They don't go to their doctor's appointment. And it's super far below the record for the oldest living dude ever. How old did the oldest living male live to be? Can I know where he was born? Yeah, he was uh, from Japan. All right, are you prepared? Yeah. Yes. Present. 121, 112 years. You're both very close. Okay. Are you watching? I'm scared. 145 years old. Oh, <laughs> 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 God damn, I would want to die by then. Yeah, I know, right? All right, what We're did really we put? Close. 121. 121. 119. And 119. Ooh, it's a barn burner. You guys are very close to one another. Let's go, baby. Come on. The correct answer is 116 Whoa. and 54 days. Jamie wow, gets the point. That's not even impressive. <laughs> it's not Couldn't even, even get to 120. Impressive. He lived from 1897 to 2013. Damn, he was in the 1800s? And saw the 2000s? He saw the whole 1900s. What? He leaves seven oh. children, 14 oh, so grandchildren, happy. 25 great grandchildren, oh oh and 15 God. great great grandchildren. Yeah. He saw the invention of like so many things. Yeah. He saw the iPhone, bro. That's the craziest <gasps> part. Like, you went from the 1800s where there was no one? cars. He probably had one. He's like, oh. <laughs> Last question. Okay. And we can't end our journey without asking. A similar question to our booty trivia video, link in the description. Say link in the description. Link in the description. Mm. We can't talk about men without talking about the penis. And we're gonna really talk about it. According to the US <laughs> Consumer Product Safety Commission database of emergency room visits, what wasn't stuck inside of a penis in 2022? Oh God. <laughs> inside of a penis? Oh, let's play this fun game. A, okay. magnets, B, a wedding ring, C, chopstick, <laughs> D, a coaxial cable, or E, a baby carrot. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna immediately cross out the wedding ring. So romantic, you know? The man was, <laughs> it was a honeymoon, okay? What did you expect? It's, I mean, it's it's just gonna be, you, you, whatever it's not, it was just, you could have picked a light bulb. Like any inanimate object would have been it because like everything has been. Did he cheat and then, and then she shoved. She shoved a wedding ring up his dick. <laughs> I know for sure A, I, I think I've seen that. Not seen. Oh! Wait, 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 wait a minute! Whoa! Like, You're one of those freaky people! I'm trying to think of like what's going through their heads. Both heads. Jail. 
wrong with these answers? <laughs> Which one Look, is that? I went you? to the emergency room four times <laughs> last year. <laughs> one feels off to me, but this one makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> like the diamond. So like, oh that. Ooh. One. Reveal. A coaxial cable. <laughs> D. Coaxial cable. And Jamie. E. e baby carrot. A carrot seems cool. <laughs> Cooler than like, like yeah. yeah. Cable. All right, what'd you put? D. You both put D. Yeah. Coaxial cable, and you are both incredibly incorrect. It actually wasn't a penis. The, the one oh. thing that wasn't. I a baby it. carrot. It was a baby carrot <laughs> that we know of. Okay. Yeah, some people I just don't feel like are honest about it. Oh, but maybe with the carrot, they thought they could like, <laughs> like, like blast it oh, out like a cannon. Like a gun. Like a carrot yes. cannon, you know? Oh my god. Wait, wait. Why would you mm. stick a baby carrot over there? What? Wait, this? Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> this was stuck in someone? Apparently so. We have went down this man journey of curiosity and quizdom, and one of you knows men's bodies more than the other, and today, it is Izzy! Yay! If I had a dick. <laughs> Ashley! Yeah. What? 14! Yay! Men! Man. I would like to thank my vivid imagination for letting me do some of these guesses, and, um, I think, baby carrot, you're out there somewhere. <laughs> One of your viewers, you've done it. Because they don't go to their doctor's appointment, because they don't want to get their prostate exam. Hmm. But little they? did you know, it's probably a fun time. 